Okay, everybody, welcome back to the OND Life. Uh, today, we're going to be talking with Tim with Big Tool Rack. So let me bring Tim on in and uh, let you say hi to OND Nation. Hey, hello, Garrett. Hello, OND Life. Uh, good to be here. Well, I'm glad that uh, we were able to uh, schedule this. I know that you've been busy. Um, so I appreciate you taking the time to uh, spend some time with us. No, we're happy to do it. It's been really crazy, but I uh, always like to talk to, to folks like you. It's been a, been a great thing. Good deal. I appreciate it. Thank you. Um, what I wanted to do and what I've been doing with uh, um, some of the, the people where I've, I've been using their products, reaching out, um, I wanted to just try and uh, find out a little bit more about your company and how it started, how Big Tool Rack was uh, started up. And, uh, and then we'll kind of get into some of the, the products and what's new and, and talk shop, I guess you could okay. say. So uh, if you could, just uh, if you want to go ahead and give me a little more information about yourself, kind of your background, and then about Big Tool Rack, how it came about. All right. Well, my name is Tim Dakota. I live out in Connecticut. And um, my in the past, I worked for a bottled water company for the past 30 years I spent there. And, um, you know, around 2013, uh, I came up with this idea for Big Tool Rock and I wasn't looking to start another company. Um, I was looking to just satisfy a need that I had. Basically, um, I had purchased a John Deere 2320 and I was doing a project around my house. And I remember I was doing a, a seeding project. So basically I was moving topsoil from the front of my yard to all these different spots in my yard and trying to spread the topsoil, you know, using the loader to move, to move the topsoil. And then every spot that I went to, I needed rakes, I needed shovels, I needed the straw, I needed grass seed, I needed fertilizer. And every time I finished a, a, a spot, all my tools were left at the last location. So I, I'm sure everyone's been there. And I was constantly chasing my tools and, and you know, moving straw from, location to location i said there's got to be a better way i mean this this tractor is awesome i love the tractor it, it it works so well but i didn't have anything with me and you, and you know with these tractors there's no room for gloves or anything i mean you really can't carry anything on them so i just started thinking about it and um i know people build carryalls all the time and i started to build this this metal frame wood carryall combination and just kept adding to it and uh, it, it worked for me and, you know, it wasn't perfect, but it, it worked for me. And I kept adding all these features that I needed. So, so it was just something for me. I mean, I wasn't looking to, to start, you know, a company. It just, just happened, um, you know, based on the needs that I had. So it just kept, it kept evolving and evolving. And finally I went to um, the guys I work with and I said, Hey, so I've got this, this idea, you know, that I'm looking, there's nothing like it out there in the market like a mobile tool storage solution. And one of the guys had like a hundred acres. The other guy had some properties well, but not, not that much. And one of them was into tractors and stuff. And we talked about it and they're like, you know, you think it's, it's a viable thing. I said, yeah, I said, I love it. I can't, you know, I leave it on my tractor all the time. So they love the idea. And um, you know, they, they got behind me and, and became my investors and partners. And we, we brought, you know, what's known today as big tool rack to market. Wow. That, that, that is awesome. And, and and I guess so. You um, had a business background, and uh, is that right? Yeah, I was. I worked for a bottled water company. I was. A, a, I was doing purchasing. I was the vice president of the company. I did. I wore a lot of different hats. I ran our service department. I was in that business for thirty years. So yeah. I, I spent a lot of time, you know, in the trenches, you know working on equipment and then I got into management and purchasing and all that stuff. So it, you know, I, I had some experience in that, um, you know, sourcing things and, and, and doing that. So it helped me. I, I see. I see. Cause definitely, I mean, I, I could see where the, the little knowledge that I have in starting a business and having a product, you know, tooling things out and getting it ready for production. I mean, it, it's no small feat. So, uh, it, I, and I've kind of it's followed a, along how you grow, so it's awesome. It's a, it's a lot. I mean, it is a lot. And then you, you design things and 
you're constantly trying to make it better and it's it, it's it's a constant improvement of things you know as you go through this process and then obviously you want to try and protect yourself so there's patents involved and trademarking and and we try to do everything right we try to you know cross our t's and dot our i's with everything we're doing but um it is a tremendous amount of work uh to bring something from nothing all the way to market and obviously and we've been fortunate you know people have received the product very well and you know we, we sell our products all over the world now now when did you first put it onto the market about what year roughly well I, right behind you i guess i see uh, yeah, 2013. so, yeah, so, so <laughs> it, it, it started in uh 2013 was when i came up with it and we didn't start selling it till 2014 we sold a few in 2014 just to test you know test the market um, but yeah, it was, it's about seven years ago when it started and about six years ago, we started to, to sell it. So. Okay. And so when I, I got my tractor around, uh, 2000, I think it was 2014. So, uh, when that's when I quickly realized I needed something to be able to carry tools on with me and, uh, started looking and, and came across your product, um, and, and uh, same thing, you know, you see also people making uh, carryalls and, you know, I, I realized that by the time I sourced all the materials and then took the time to, uh, to put it all together, um, you know, I, I definitely couldn't have done, done it better uh, by any means. So, you know, that, and that's what, um, really appealed to me. I, I know a lot of guys on the social media, a lot of guys say, Oh, I could build that, you know? Yeah, I know like, people go and listen, listen, that's great. People do it all the time, but there's a lot to it. And I think, you know, a lot of people don't realize until they actually buy one, the, the substance of the thing. I mean, it's the racks, there are ultimate racks, 300 pounds of steel. You know, it's, it's, it's 300 pounds of steel that's powder coated and, you know, there's a lot of a lot of design work in there. It, it's it's a substantial piece of equipment. I mean, it's a real attachment. And, and, and until people actually get one delivered, they're blown away. I mean, they're like, holy cow, I had no idea this is what it was going to be. Because it's hard to do the product justice on the website. You see pictures and you don't realize how big it is and, and, and you know, how well built it is. And, you know, we, we, we pride ourselves on quality. I mean, that's that's what we do. We build we build quality carryalls. That's all we do is build a carryall system. So, I mean, there's nothing else, but that that's your specialty. And, and it shows, uh, you know, the, the quality of the product and, you know, I, I could potentially put something together out of wood, uh, but you know, anything with metal and, and doing any metal work and stuff, it would be an absolute mess or I'd have to buy a whole bunch of equipment just to, 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 to do it. So, <laughs> I um yeah without a doubt there's so many people out there that don't have the equipment and so this is such an affordable solution it truly is and like you said it, it's an it's an implement so we spend lots of money on on, on our tractor implements and uh, no, I, I mean, use you look at a tractor that's thirty I mean tractors range from I'm gonna say fifteen thousand to you know all the way up past sixty thousand. You know, for what this cost, you know, the, the value you're getting out of it, you, you can't put a number to that. I mean, it, it basically turns your tractor into a UTV. And, and one thing that's interesting here is, and I didn't even realize this, people people that are buying them own RTVs, gators, and tractors all together. And they're buying my product. And I'm surprised sometimes that they buy it and they tell me that they can get more on the big tool rack than they can in their UTV or their gator. And I never really thought about it. And the, the reason being is all of our tool holders are mounted on the outside. So they, they secure all their tools in a nice, neat order, keep them there. They're easily accessible. And the whole cargo area is open for other things. So you're not like throwing hay bales in on top of tools and, or whatever you're putting in their mulch or your, your cargo area is free to do what you want to do with it. And, and that's been the, the message I've received back from our customers. And you know, a lot of these guys that have the gators and RTVs, their wives want to take the gator and, and go out on the land and all their tools are in it. So they don't want their tools bouncing around. And now this just gives them a place to keep their tools nice, neat, organized, roll it away in their garage or barn, 
and grab it when they need it. So, I mean, it's been a great message back from the, from our customers. Yeah. It's, I keep it on all the time. I mean, unless I have a specific task where I need another implement on the back, it stays on mine, you know, all the time. It's, it's always on there just because I, all my tools are on it. Right. You know, right. And in the rack. Right. That's the thing. And you know, a lot of some people say, oh, I'm putting my tools in the bucket. And I used to do that. And, and if you're like, if you're like me, you put it in there and you've forgotten the chainsaws in there and you go to scoop a pile of dirt or it, it bounces out and you run it over. It's just, it's just not made to carry your tools. You know, you can do it, but it's just an accident waiting to happen. Exactly. Exactly. So yeah, I, I couldn't be more pleased with it. Um, definitely. Yeah. Well, and you know what? I, I was on your website, and uh, we can bring up uh, the website and go through some of the items. I, um, you know, and, and for folks uh, that are um, watching, you know, on your website, you have your your big tool rack story there. So I would encourage people to to go in and, and kind of read about the story and got a nice picture of uh, you and your family there. So now... You know, I follow you on uh, social media. Did you just have a daughter uh, graduate? I did. Or she just graduated high school, yeah. All right, awesome. Congratulations. Well, she, what a they've year. All, they've all been a great help. You know, my wife, my my son, and my daughter have been instrumental in helping me build this business. My kids and, and wife, we have built so many racks together. Um, it, it, I don't make them do it anymore because we're just too big, but we've done it. I mean, we've all worked nights, weekends, and you know, when I had my other job, we would just spend countless hours together doing this and building this company. It's been unbelievable. And and I think that's what's, uh, you know, part of what I love about talking to, to, to you guys, um, you know, the other people that I've talked to, it, it is just a, uh, you know, a passion, you know, that the whole family shares and in their building racks or, you know, products and getting it shipped out and delivering and, so it, it, it's it, it's been fun for me to watch on social media, kind of how how you know just seeing some of the pictures that you post there. Yeah, so. no, thank you. It's it's a special thing, and you know one of my most special gifts that I've received was my daughter when we first started the business. I think it was our second Christmas since we started the business. She built this cardboard sign, and she drew out the whole country, and we put pins wherever we sold racks and. I still have that to this day. It sits on my desk. I cherish it. That is cool. Yeah. <laughs> That's neat. And, and so then, the, I mean, they're learning so much, just uh, being able to participate in it and what it takes. And so, yeah, that, that's priceless. Yeah. A priceless sure. education. So, okay. So we're on the, the site. Is there any, uh, what, Let's see here. What I've been doing is just wanting to go through some of the, the products and let you talk about them. Um, anything new? Where, I'll okay. let you kind of tell me where, where to go. Sure. I'll drive. Well, why don't you go to uh, Racks and okay. you can go to uh, go to the uh, Yard Rack. Okay. That just came out at the end of last year. Now, that's basically – a small version carry all system for the homeowner. So anyone that has over a half an acre up to many acres can use this product. Now this product will go on the back of a zero turn mower, you know, Cub Cadet tractor, John Deere tractor, all different tractors. Uh, we have a unique uh, mounting hitch that, that comes with it. And um, you know, you bolt it on your tractor and it, it goes on and off with one pin. So it's very easy to take on and off. Um, one thing we don't talk about it, you know, is, is it folds up and it folds down. So it, it, it can fold up if you have to get in tight areas and you could secure it with a strap it comes with and hold it in the upright position so you can put it in your garage or your barn and not have to take up any more square footage than you normally take up with your tractor. So that's where it's a little bit different than a trailer. You know, it's inside. It actually becomes part of your tractor. Okay. Um, so you can... The cables. Some of the pictures there, yeah. So you see the cables there. Now the cables can be released from the top section to allow you to dump the rack out. So if you put leaves or something in it, you could release those top cables, dump it out, and um, also in that 
that comes with it is there's a, a plastic liner in the bottom so you don't puncture anything because it's canvas it's a it's a ballistic nylon heavy duty canvas body and um there's a there's a plastic liner in there so you can just you can just dump it uh you know dump the whole thing out and and that liner stays in there oh i didn't realize that it dumped out that's that's yeah huge, that's, we, we, we don't talk about it and we should talk about it. there's a lot of unique features with this product that We've got to we've got to get on some more videos, but it's just been so busy. Um, we have to do that. And let me just kind of click through. Looks like that's how you would mount it on. Yeah, that's the bracket. So that that's our universal hitch bracket that will mount on to most machines. Some some machines you'll have to drill holes. You know, we we, we uh, most of them will line up with uh, the holes that are in the plate already because the, the holes are slotted. So you just try and find the best holes on your tractor. And, um, you know, sometimes you don't even need that plate. And if you have a, a two inch female receiver, the yard rack will plug right into that already. I know a lot of the John Deere tractors and some of the other model tractors have a two inch receiver already on them. And you could just plug into that. Um, but the, the other thing that's really neat about this is you can plug it into, uh, you know, a triangle on a three point hitch. So this, this, this rack can be used on a small compact tractor as well. And, and yeah, I, I was seeing, um, my mind was already thinking about, uh, you know, just having the tr trailer mover, you know, three point hitch, uh, that has that uh, two inch receiver, um, female, uh, it looked like that, that you just slide it right into there potentially. Exactly. We sell, we sell the heavy hitches. Now we have a partnership with heavy hitch. So we sell a combo unit with a heavy hitch and, and, um, you know, we sell it with our five-in-one tool holder and all that, but it all comes together so that it's like a kit. But uh, that's, you know, it's, it's an easy it's an easy way to, to to hook it up. Well, and you know, we were talking a little bit below, and I think uh, everyone on my channel knows that I had the XPHD version, which uh, um, which is no longer available. And we were talking a little bit about that. I, I figured I wanted to give you a chance to just kind of Tell me some of what you were telling me about uh, about that. Yeah, so, so that rack is a great rack. We loved it. We, we, we didn't have any issue with it at all, other than the sales were, were low on it. Uh, very high quality, great plastic body uh, on the rack. And it just, it just didn't sell well. And I, we found that the reason it didn't sell well is it didn't have the wheel kit. So, so when you put it down, it was like a lead weight. And, uh, you know, you couldn't really move it around. And, and everyone liked the idea of being able to move the rack around with the wheels and, and also have the, the added capacity of, of the ultimate rack. So, you know, we, we basically discontinued that and, and we, we sell the ultimate rack. Um, you know, one question that we get a lot from like BX owners or 1025 R owners is, you know, is it too big? It, it's the BX, the BX tractor owner is one of our number one customers for the ultimate rack. So, so it's, it's very, very popular for the subcompact tractors. Um, and, and all the way up to the over 60 horsepower tractors. It's, it's, it's a good size, you know? Yeah. And, and I, I initially had the same question and wondered whether or not it was too big, but, uh, after seeing lots of, uh, people with it, I, I can see it, it, it fits right on. No problem. Yeah, Give, you know, gives you a little extra ballast even. Well, that's the thing it does. And that, that's what, when I started the company, uh, when I made the first product, um, that was what I was looking for. I wanted ballast one. I wanted a place to carry my tools, you know, and I wanted, I wanted some, some storage area. So, so it was just, it was all those things. And I wanted to be able to tow a trailer and that's what we, you know, we have the trailer hitch feature comes with all of them. We've got a counterweight bracket on it. So you can actually add all different kinds of suitcase weights on the rack to give you more ballast. And, you know, I, I you know, ballast is just so important. And, yeah. um, you know, it, the rack, like I said before, it weighs 300 pounds. You can put 600 pounds in it and you could also put another 250 pounds on the suitcase weight bracket. So you, you potentially could have 1100 pounds of ballast hanging off the back. So Man. it's quite, quite a bit. And, and like I said, that's, that's one of the features of it that, that we needed because you need, you need ballast. So if you're going to get rid of your weight box, you know, this, this will take the place. Right. So, and for those bigger tractors, I mean, that, you're going to need that much ballast. 
Oh, sure. And a lot of guys will even load their tires on top of that. I have, uh, you know, a large Kubota 4760 and my tires are loaded and I have that on there. And, you know, I have the sprayer in it. Now we sell sprayers. We make our own sprayer now. So I put a sprayer in it full of, you know, 40 gallons of water and it gives it some nice weight. Man, you're ready to move, move some stuff. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> All right. Well, um, and with the yard rack, and that, that's what I was thinking when I saw that uh, that the XPHD wasn't available. Is that it? I could, I, I could see it. That made sense to me that you've got this yard rack now. Plus, you got the ultimate. Um, most yeah. and, and seeing where most people were going towards the ultimate because they of the were, features I mean, and the weight. They were for sure, and I was disappointed to cancel it. To be honest with you, I love that rack. I have you know, one here. I, I use. I. I Obviously, you can use them all, but I really like that. There's a lot of unique features in that rack as well, but it's it's not what the people wanted, so it's hard to keep making something if, if you're only selling a few of them. Yeah, you got to listen to the people if you want to stay in business. And, that, huh? and that's what we do. We we have we take our all the comments very seriously. We've made a lot of changes to the rack, a lot of improvements to the rack based on on just that. I mean, we we had a um, one of our customers that mentioned the side bins on our ultimate rack. Well. I, it wasn't you know, big enough for them. I want to be able to put a gas can in there. I have a larger oil can. So we just made that change on the fly. So we, we made it like an inch wider and that'll fix that that'll problem. Fix. And that's and we do that a lot with different things. We, we take the feedback. I mean, the, the whole product was built on actual use, you know? So we listen to everything people say to us. Yeah. And that, that's the key to success, definitely. So let me... Uh, uh, where shall we go next on on the website here? So I would just go to uh, if you go to um, racks again, and then go to let's just touch on we can go to the ATV sport rack. Okay, yeah. So uh, I'm I'm amazed at how many new products, new uh, items since I've been on the website. Uh, so uh, things are things are moving and shaking with you guys. That's they really awesome. are. There's no there's no downtime here. I really don't sleep much at all. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. But this product, now, this is now is that is that GP outdoors? Yeah, that's GP. He did a he did oh, a okay. video with the uh, with the yard rack. Yeah, he's, I thought I recognized him there. Yeah, okay. he, he he's great. What a great guy, and he does such a good job. Uh, you know, showing the features of the racks and, and everything he shows he's been he's been great but um he did he did a video on the on the ultimate rack and he did a video on the, the yard rack and you know just showing how it connects and the features of it and stuff and you know this this the, the atv sport rack is essentially the um, yard rack but it, it just without the the hitch plate and and it connects you know it will connect to uh the uh, ATV with that two inch connector. So we, we have a, all these kits on the site. If you scroll down a little bit, you'll see what I'm talking about. There's like two inch receiver kits and extensions and different things that we, we have with it. So, you know, we have guys that put them on there. You can see it on the, uh, I think that's a can am with the hitch bracket. So the, the two inch extender uh, riser. So you can put the yard rack in the top one and on the bottom one, throw a trailer with it as well. And, um, you know, the other thing that we find a lot of people are doing, which we, we, we thought people would do it, but it's, they're doing it more than we actually thought would be put it on the front of the, uh, RTVs and the gators. Cause it you know, uh, the same thing with like the ultimate rack, it, it, you know, you put the tools on the outside, you know, you have the cargo area free. Well, same thing, you know, with the RTVs, if they have a spot to put their tools, now that they don't have to put it in the bed of the RTV and, and, you know, with all the other stuff they want to put in there whether it's hay bales or mulch or, or whatever you know they could put their firewood in the back and put their chainsaw on the yard rack on the front well and it you know what it makes sense because you figure if you're dumping any dirt or rocks out of the bed you don't right. want your tools going out as well no that's a good point and that's the, it gives you a nice safe secure place to put your gloves your your oil your gas your chainsaw you know all that stuff can stay right in the front and uh, it's worked out well. We've sold a lot of them to, to uh, Gator and RTV owners. That yeah, I would never have, have thought of that. So I'm I'm glad we did this. Got it's got my mind uh, thinking of the possibilities. Now I just need to get a side by side. Yeah, <laughs> me too. <laughs> <laughs> 
So, but so darn it, but darn it, I don't need one because I've already got the big tool rack for my that's tractor. True. That's true. They're fun just to drive around, though. I know that. Right. <laughs> All right. So, um, yeah, that 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 just uh, opens it up to so many people having uh, that little extra bit of storage. And and now, does this also dump as well? Yeah, it's the same body, so it will dump as well. And you know, it's you know great for guys that are going camping with their ATVs. They want to put their tents in the back, their you know chairs, coolers, all that stuff. We we're just starting to touch that market right now. Yeah, I tell you what, I mean, just that feature to be able to dump. Um, really, uh, I, I could see where the homeowner, um, you know, having that on the back of their uh, lawn tractor or or on an ATV going around, I. I'm, I'm constantly having to pick up sticks. So being able to throw them in there, you know, zoom around the yard and then be able to dump it, it well, would, would be huge. <laughs> it's funny you say that. that. That's exactly why the product was developed. Because, again, based on what I need, I'm building stuff that I need. Right. So I'm out mowing and exactly what you just said, you come upon a stick or a rock or a dog's toy and you don't want to run it over. So, so you got to put it somewhere and either you try and throw it in the woods if you're close enough or you carry it the rest of the way. So that, that's, that's exactly why it was developed. And obviously there's a lot more uses for it, but you know, that I, that's what I use it for. So when you're out, you're out mowing, and you just throw stuff in it and it, it becomes part of the tractor. So it's, it's not like it's in the way. And like I said, if you wanted to, you can fold it up or not. And this, it does show a good picture of it folded up. So Right, right. Yeah. Cool. And, you know, I, I know that uh, we were talking about and saw it on your website, and Austin mentioned that you guys uh, are sharing, you know, some products on your websites. Um, and uh, his dad is the one. Yeah, there, there we go. Here, let me, let me get the picture up there better. Um, his dad was the one that uh, was saying that the mother of all invention, uh, you know, necessity is the mother of all invention. And That's and, right. uh, and Austin was saying it was when he went off to college that his dad invented the log ox because he no longer had uh, Austin around to do it all. So. Well, I'll tell you, I, I love that product. I mean, I met those folks. They're great people. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's just a. Uh, Lynn, John, and Austin, we, we actually went away to the Mother Earth News Fair and met them up there and spent some time with them. Great, great folks. And it's just such a great product. I mean, we, we decided to take it on because we I use it. They brought it here just so we could shoot a video, and I had never touched one. Mm -hmm. And I used it that day, and I just fell in love with it. Like, I won't split wood without it. It just, it just it makes it fun, and it makes it so your back's not hurting. So it's just a great tool. Definitely. Definitely. So, but <laughs> it, I, it was just funny how he was mentioning that uh, his dad invented all these things after he left for college. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Got, got a riding lawnmower also after he left. <laughs> That's usually what happens. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's hear any, I, and I'm not sure how much time you've got, but, uh, um, do, do you want to take a look at uh, some yeah, other items? I'm, I'm here You've got for so you. much new stuff, man. <laughs> no, let's do it. That's fine. We can go go back to the racks tab, and we okay. can look at the uh, Rops rack pack. Okay, and and I I put one of these on the uh, on my zero turn, which is super handy for my grabber. Um, when I'm using my cyclone rake, I, I put a uh, a big stick on so I can dig out the leaves out of my cyclone rake, but that, that ROPS rack, uh, super handy. Put my, uh, uh, weed eater when I'm heading down further away to the other side of the property and have to do some weed eating. Yeah, no, it's, it's a great product. It's an inexpensive product, an easy way to carry tools. I'm super excited about it. We literally just received our, um, utility patent on it. Oh, so so I was I was really excited. There, those those patents are hard to get, and we we have several of them now. So it's it's been that's a, that's a good thing, and it's uh it's it's been a great product. We sell a lot of those to zero turn owners and tractor owners, and you know even if they buy a a, a big tool rack, they're 
a lot of people are still adding this because you know you can hang the gear bag to it. That's a new product that came out. That that came out again based on a need that I had. I was mowing the lawn, and you know even though you can carry your trimmer, my my cell phone's always in my pocket. Now the, the zero turns, there's really nowhere to put anything. So right. it's it's fallen out of my pocket so many times, and I've ruined so many smartphones. And I was like, it's time to put something on this rack so I can at least put my phone in there. Cause I, when I mow, I mow with a headset on and I like to stream music and, and just, you know, I need my phone with me, especially when there's a call. Uh, so, so the gear back holds the phone, it holds the water bottles, it holds a bunch of stuff and it's, it's worked out well. So in this video, is this the gear bag here? Yeah, I believe so. Yep. That talks about the gear bag and, and how it attaches to the, uh, to the ROPS rack pack. Okay. Well, that, that that gear bag will go on our racks. It will go on UTVs and RTVs. It comes with a couple different strap kits with it, so it's very universal. You know, guys buy them to you know hang them on their their Rangers and you know Gators and stuff. But it's got a, it's got a unique strapping mechanism that will tie to the ROPS rack pack, tie to our ultimate racks, and tie to a bunch of different things. And the best the best part about it is it doesn't require any tools to connect it. So you, okay. it's just Velcro and straps and and the D rings. Okay. So the so the the ROPS rack is one thing, and then that bag um, is separate. And you don't necessarily have to have the ROPS rack to hook the bag up to a ROPS. Well, you you know you would need, you would need the ROPS rack pack to hook it to a ROPS because that that okay. gives you a solid anchor point. So you basically run the straps through one of the D-rings to hold it from sliding down. So, gotcha. so you, you would need that. Uh, for that it. makes sense. That makes sense. Okay. But like if I ended up putting my small Kubota toolbox onto my zero turn. If, if I'd have known about uh, the, the bag, I could have avoided uh, having to fiddle with all that. For sure. I'm, I'm trying to, let me scroll down, see if there's the bag, right? That's the bag right there. You can click on gonna, that. It should drive you if you click on it. it should drive you to the page. It shows it on a tractor and on a zero turn. It's it's a, it's, a, it's a great add-on for like the compact tractors as well because you still need a place to carry stuff. You see one on like a New Holland tractor there. Um, let me uh, scroll through. Yeah, here it is. Okay, yeah. So, I, and I can see the ROP track there. You know, you're, one thing I'll, I'll say is you know, you'll know you notice that all these products tie to all of our products. So that that gear bag actually acts as a saddle bag on our yard rack and our ATV sport rack. So you could attach it to the side just like you have saddle bags on a motorcycle. You, you oh. could have, you'd have two bags on the side, and, and you know, that's been really popular for the yard rack as well. Okay. Let me see. Probably I'll, – I'll, I'll go through some of the pictures here just yeah. – so that you can oh, see it right, right there. There we go. Okay, cool. That just shows the inside. There's three pockets inside. Okay. Man, yeah, I, I'm thinking have one, have all your uh, wood cutting stuff in it. And could have a different bags for different tasks that you're going to be out doing potentially even. No, for sure. And that's it on the rack. It, it attaches. You could put a couple. You could put several of them on the, the ultimate rack. Yeah. Oh, that's that. That's actually a customer sent that to me. That's inside the cab of a skid steer. Oh, okay. So we, you just strapped it in there. I didn't. I. It's like I said. It's endless where you could use these things. But he told me it fits perfect in there. So he's able to put his lunch in there and his water and all that stuff. Oh, makes sense. His phone, there, everything. Oh. Yeah. Cool. Man, I'll tell you what, you do have a bunch of new stuff. Yeah, <laughs> there's a lot going on. That's that's one of the things I've enjoyed these interviews, just really seeing the new stuff that's out there. Yeah. It's not always a good thing for my bank account, though. No, no. <laughs> we, keep it, we keep it exciting. Yes. So... Let's, let me let me click on the Kubota Ultimate Rack just really fast since we're orange and dirty over here. Yeah. Um, 
man, that is such a, a sharp, sharp rack. I tell you what. Yeah, this um, was an exciting, an exciting thing. I mean, we got a call probably like a little over two years ago from Kubota. And yeah. uh, I didn't believe it at first, you know, because, <laughs> you know, they called and they asked if we would be willing to make a rack for them. And I was like, well, we certainly would want to make a rack for them. You know, at the time, I, I think I had a Kubota L3560 and we were just we were just shooting videos and taking pictures and, and showing it off. And, and they noticed it and uh, and they loved it. And you know, we, we, we shot a video on a friend's farm. That's the video that's in there. It's it's uh, it's a video that was uh, a lot of a lot of work. It, it took us like 18 hours to shoot it, probably about 14 hours of editing to get three minutes of footage. <laughs> it's <laughs> well, you know, it, it's worth the watch, and it, it, they, it, I just think it came out great. Um, we we spent a lot of time on it, and it really shows the functionality of it and, and what you what you can do with it. And it is indeed the perfect color as well. <laughs> sure. Now, I, I did see on outdoors with the Morgans. There's a red one as well. Yeah, well, we had a red one um, for Mike. We made one special for Mike. We actually make, um, you know, we'll get into that. We get to the the, uh, the new ultimate racks. We can probably go there next. Okay. But we, um, we make a, we just started this. I believe it, we announced it last week where we're going to offer our, our, our flagship colors, our yellow and black. That's you know, been the company brand colors. So obviously that's, that's our main color, but we're, we're offering, we changed the color scheme a little bit on, on the rack. And mm -hmm. to make it so, if you want to click on one of the pictures on there, we could talk to it. So, the rack used to have yellow side bins and yellow corners, and it used to have a yellow uh, label. So we changed it to a gray label and and made everything else black. And the bars are the only thing that's yellow right now. So what that does for us, it kind of eases the pain from a manufacturing perspective. And uh, now we could sell them with red bars and orange bars. Oh, so, that makes sense. And, it, and it, all the colors, you know, we think look look pretty pretty good. So we uh, we're excited about it. Now, you know, a lot of guys want to match their tractor. So if you've got a if you've got a Kubota, you can match it with this one, or you can get the Kubota rack. If you've got a, a Massey, a Mahindra, a Case, you know, you can buy the red one. So those are the three colors that we're offering right now, and and that's that's our new new look. We're pretty pretty excited about the 2020 year. It is sharp. I, I uh, saw it on um, social media, and uh, I think that's where I uh, responded and, and mentioned, "Hey, would still love to have you on." So yeah, uh, no, I, I'm glad you know I was able to do this. It's been really crazy. We're, we're working 24 seven, and uh, right. you know we're we're taking pre orders right now. We sold out of our ultimate rack, so we're taking pre orders right now. We've got a bunch of them already, so we're behind the behind the eight ball right now, trying to get everything done. And, uh, you know, we like to exceed our customers' expectations. So we're, we're going to keep keep trying to do that here. But, you know, this new rack's got some some new features. It has the uh, new five-in-one holder on it, which I don't know if you can – I don't know if you can zoom in there or not, but we can go to that and, and show it after. But, Let me yeah. uh, see if there's another picture that might have a better – That's it right there. So, so that's that's the five-in-one holder. So basically, that's a chainsaw holder, trimmer holder, you know, like like I said, hedge trimmer holder, um, and it's got four holes in it that you can carry long handle tools, and that comes with our rubber grommet kit. It also comes with something that we just added, which is our uh, chainsaw tooth guard, and that protects the teeth from hitting the metal on the uh, on the metal plate there. I'm gonna scroll down and see if by chance there's one. Um, if you go, you probably would have to go to the accessories page. If you go up and you go to the right. accessories page, you'll, you'll see it shows it, that's the first accessory. That's been our number one uh, add-on for, for all the racks. People that bought the ultimate rack before are adding that as a accessory. It's a very first item if you click on it. And and that was that that product was developed, designed basically because I don't sleep a lot and I, I think about this stuff at night and and I was like, how do I, I said, how do I get a four hole tool holder and a chainsaw all in one small area so I could put it on the yard rack. And that, mm -hmm. that's, how, that's why that was designed basically for the yard rack. If you flip, flip through some of the yeah. pictures, you see it on the yard rack. So that, that was why, and it just developed into this item that 
the ultimate rack owners want it as well because you can get a lot of tools in a nice small area. And right, it, right. It's more cutouts in it to accept our S beaner hooks. And it's just, a, it's a really cool, cool holder. If you click on that again, it should open up. Just a screen. There you go. Oh, yeah. Okay. And so now I see you do have the rubber grommets to protect your tools there. And you mentioned a tooth, a chainsaw tooth, or um, yeah, it's a chainsaw tooth guard. It's it's a plastic plate that gets bolted in place there, so your teeth on your saw don't hit the metal. Okay. So that's all in, all in, included with this kit. When you buy that, you get you get that tooth protector, you, you get the holder, and you get the rubber grommets. It's all part of the package when you order. And again, that, that was you know the rubber grommets we sell now for our four hole tool holder accessory as well. Because what happens over time, and we learned this, it wasn't on purpose. We learned that when your tools sit in there, they rub against those round holes and it marks them. So this this rubber grommet fixes that and especially if you have like fiberglass handles you don't want to mark them up right i am gonna have to pick some up without a doubt uh like you said uh that's what you've learned along the way and i, I could definitely use some i'm gonna have to order me some well you know a guy <laughs> <laughs> that's right nowhere to go <laughs> that's that's awesome man cool stuff let's see here so we were at racks uh the ultimate rack do, do you want me to go back there or yeah, go back to the ultimate rack we can just touch on that um some okay. more so, so this is our the, the new rack and, and like i said it's got a new look and we're, we're right now we're offering this this pre-order deal to people that want to order they don't mind waiting right now it's eight to ten week lead time so so you know people are we're giving our customers ten percent off if they order now and they could do that right on the right on the internet but it's it's looking about eight to ten weeks right now okay and um since i brought this picture up just can you it kind of blends in but that, there's the suitcase weight uh rack as well like you were talking about you can add those suitcase weights in addition to the 300 pounds of the rack plus right. the equipment that you have so plenty right. of balance. Well, the other thing I want to know is, you know, it's all the racks are I match and quick hitch compatible. So you, you can put, you know, your weights on and it'll still, it'll still uh, work with your, your I match or your quick hitch, which is nice. And, uh, you know, be able to have some extra weight if you need it. Yeah. I have, I keep saying I'm going to get some suitcase weights, but I still haven't done it. I have the, the land pride, QHO5, and it has more of a curve arch, and I think that will limit how many suitcase weights I can put on it. Um, so anyone out there watching, um, you might opt for the more square boxy quick hitch option, probably like what you offer um, with a combo. Yeah, I'm glad you brought that up because that is the only one that I know of that wouldn't you know wouldn't allow you to put say six suitcase weights you might only be able to get four on there the other thing with that hitch is the spring release goes towards the implement so with the qho5 we have rear if you if you look at the, that picture again you'll see on the back there's two storage bins in the back so oh, yeah. those storage bins would have to be reversed to the inside or taken off to allow that qho5 to work properly okay so, yeah, we try and steer people away from that particular hitch if they're going to buy an ultimate. I mean, people buy them and they use them. They just have to take the bins off or, or reverse them. It's yeah. going to work. It's just you have to make an adjustment for it. But, um, if, if I had it to do over again, I probably wouldn't have gotten the QHO5 uh, quick hitch. Just, um, you know, back when I was uh, young and dumb, excited to get yeah yeah no it's it, it, it's a nice looking quick hitch but it, it's the functionality i think is limited i've heard some other things you know with with trouble with it hooking up with different things but you know yeah. the one that we have on the site is is universal it's heavy duty if you can go you want to go to that combo page we could look at it there but you know we we, we offer it as a package um, so if you don't have a quick hitch already you can buy this all together we ship it all together and one thing that that we include 
uh, with ours is the bushing kit and that top link uh, U bracket. So okay. you don't need the U bracket for the for the um, big tool rack, but customers will use it for brush hogs and different things. So we include it. I'm not sure if we're going to keep including that part because no one seems to use it, but it's it's there right now. Yeah, I know when I did get my uh, Land Pride one, um, you know they recommended buying that as well in case you do use it for a brush hog or something. Um, so it seems to be uh, not used. I, I don't. I don't. Yeah. Have well, that's the thing. I mean, we're, we're including it and we send it out, and it most times it causes confusion because people think they need it for the big tool rack and they don't. So, right. so that's why I said we might not include that part, but we will always include the bushing kit because yeah. the bushing kit actually makes it nice and tight connection with the tractor so it doesn't have any space in there. Yeah, nice. Okay. All right. Let me see. There's a video there, too, that shows that how you can connect and disconnect it for anyone that wants to see how, you know, how easy it is to connect and disconnect the rack. You literally, you know, if you want to disconnect, you didn't have to get off your tractor. You, you could reach behind you, release the levers, and drop it down and drive away. So nice. Yep, that is handy. And uh, like you were mentioning, having those uh, legs with the wheels to be able to just drop it and roll it over into the corner is so nice. Yeah, that's been key. That's been a key sales thing for us, and that's what people seem to love. And, and uh, I think even uh, Mike mentioned it in one of his videos. Uh, you know, when he gets home from work, because he works two jobs, when he gets yeah. home from work, and he's like, "I don't want to go looking around for tools." If you've got an hour or two at night when you get home from work and you want to go work on your yard, how nice is it to have everything you need right there and just roll it up and drive away? Yeah, right there. Definitely. Okay. Well. Uh, let's see here. I we are already at forty seven minutes. I know I was gonna try and keep you just thirty ish minutes. So uh, we'll wrap things up. Is there anything before we do that um, that you wanted to touch on or, or make sure that you mentioned? Well, I want one. I want to just thank people for their support, um, especially the veterans and first responders. You know, we do special things for them and. I really appreciate, um, really appreciate them. It's been uh, it's been a great thing to be able to talk to a lot of the veterans and and a lot of them are disabled and, and we've been able to help them with the big tool rack and it's it means a lot to us and, and the support from them and all of our customers. So thank you. Awesome, awesome. Well, I appreciate uh, you taking the time and you know I want to encourage all all the viewers uh, to go check out. Big tool rack. Golly, we, we barely touched on all of the products <laughs> and accessories and everything. We probably could have spent a couple a couple more hours, probably. Um, so definitely go check out what's new over there. And um, you know, I, I've I've been so pleased. You guys have seen it on my tractor. It, it stays on. And uh, in fact, I probably don't keep it as neat as I, I probably should. You know, it does end up carrying lots of stuff but right. kind of the beauty of it is i always have it with me when i need it when i'm running around doing something and i realize i need to do while i'm out or something else at least i got the tool with me so i'm a little bit of a pack rat that way <laughs> <laughs> well that's good that's good stuff yep so i appreciate it um i've got the website down below and i will put the uh, website in the description of the video so you guys can go uh, check out the big tool rack. So you guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button, hit subscribe and the little bell icon to uh, be notified of new videos and definitely go check out Tim over there at the big tool rack. Alright guys, O&D out. Thanks Garrett. Thank you.